Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, thank you to everyone who supports the channel. I really appreciate all your comments, all your shares and all your likes. Uh, please hit the thumbs up um, and please subscribe if you haven't already and if you like the content. So um, I had a bit of a stressful day yesterday and um, obviously I always try and keep my channel positive. I don't get involved in, in YouTube beefs or um, anything negative. I don't swear, I don't call people names. Uh, I keep, even people I don't like, I try to, I don't say negative things about them. But what happened yesterday, I came across a comment from a few months ago from um, someone from Milton Keynes who I had a fight with, well, me and my mate had a fight with, going back 30 odd years. And he was being uh, very negative about my character. And, um, if someone's going to try and assassinate my character, I'm, I'm going to defend myself. So what this fellow was saying was that um, there was a fight. He got hit with bars and I wasn't a good person. And then he stabbed my mate. Now, I've got the screenshots of the message, but I'm not going to put them up at the minute because I don't want to really bring his, get his, bring his name out there. But what actually happened was this. This lad had a football team and they played against my mate's football team. I was 15 years old then, by the way. Um, they played against the football I wasn't at the match, but I heard what happened. His football team, the lad who's been making these comments, were really rough with my mates. They were fouling them, beating them up, hitting them and kicking them, and basically just real for free for all. So um, me and my mate took it upon ourselves to go and have a go at them for it because we felt it was un unjustified and bullying. So my mate was about four or five years older than me. He was about 19 or 20. On one Saturday afternoon, just me and him just walked up to the city centre to, to have a fight with this other this, this football team gang. And uh, we've gone up to where they drink, just us two. Uh, I didn't have any weapons on me. My, I'm not saying my mate did, but I didn't. Anyway, we've gone up there and it kicked off, uh, me and him against them. So, um, Anyway, police turned up and my mate got nicked. I managed to, to get away and didn't get arrested. So I was left up the city centre by myself. And I, I went and sat outside the McDonald's, just on my own. And uh, next thing, that little firm who have just had the fight with, they've all turned up, surrounded me and, I, and said, do you want to fight? So I got up and I went, yeah, come on in. And um, what happened next was their main, their top fighter was a man called Brad, who's, I think he's done a bit of boxing. He's a good jiu-jitsu man now. We actually get on now, me and Brad. I, I get on with everyone now that I've, I've had fights with over the years. Anyway, Brad said, I'll fight you. And I went, come then. So what we did, we walked, <laughs> we walked all the way to the a library, which was about a quarter of a mile away. So it took us about five minutes. Um, we walked to the library, just me and Brad together, and like we were saying, sort of threatening each other on the way, I'm going to beat you and all this. We went to the library. As we turned up at the library, uh, all the cars turned up with all of his mates. I was on my own. And um, so I was outnumbered quite, well, probably about seven or eight to, to one. And then um, we just had a straightener, me and Brad, and nothing really happened. Uh, his mates started shouting, the police were coming. Stop. They stopped it because they said the police were coming. So me and Brad just got up, got up off the floor and I looked around and I said, where's the, where's the police? But anyway, that was that. Um, as far as I was concerned, I'm, I'm actually very proud that I stood my ground even though I was outnumbered and I had a straightener with their, their main fighter. I think Brad was a year older than me. And um, anyway, this, this, this geezer, he's, he's piped up on a, on a thing and he's, um, he's saying, uh, well, Matt Leg, uh, yeah, he's not that nice. He did this to me and he did that to me. The thing is, this f I went to court for that. He, he grasped me up. He's a, he grasped me up. I went to court for an ABH. I was only 15, got an ABH. And um, my mate went to court as well. This fella then stabbed my mate, I think in the leg. And uh, in the comment he's made, he's, he's gone, yeah, Matt's lucky that he didn't get uh, stabbed and all this, and he was, he'd be a vegetable and he wouldn't have been boxing. 
But I thought to myself, I saw him so many times after that court case up the city, and I used to look over at him like, yeah, what are you gonna do? And he wouldn't do a thing. He would not do a thing. He might have got my mate. He didn't get me because he wouldn't have got. He wasn't going to fight me or, or even attempt to do it. So all this talk on um, YouTube comments, ridiculous. I've tried to ring him. I've tried ringing him today, uh, twice through Facebook, but uh, he didn't pick up yet. But um, yeah, I just thought um, he's reminded me of a story I'm actually proud of. I'm actually proud of the story. And, he, and, he, and he's also in, in implying my friend was a racist member of the BNP, which is ut utterly ridiculous because our little gang had a, had a man with a Pakistan family, he had a, a, my mate Hassan from Iran, and we had our mother mate, another mate who had Jamaican family. So, uh, <laughs> so it does not make, it's total rubbish what he was saying. Anyway, I've got to get that across because I'm not having my character assassinated by some little grass who's now disappeared out of Milton Keynes and starts piping up on comments. So anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm, always, I'm still being positive. This is still positive. I'm not going to be negative about it, but I just got to put my point, my side across. Um, he's put his thing across and I'll put mine across. Um, but anyway, I hope you're all doing well. And uh, yeah, I feel, I feel so much more positive today. I've done my boxing session, spoke to Paul Venice uh, about meeting him on the 17th next month at the, at the uh, boxing. So I'm going to go up there to do the boxing match. I'm, I'm against Wayne Cox, uh, Amtutee, which I'll, I've done a number of videos about that. So yeah, I hope you're all well anyway, and um, catch up soon.